Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your guy, Tony Dennis, Investor Dennis here. Hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by checking out yet another video. Now, go ahead, you know, drop your comments down below. If you have any questions about this video, and I'll get right back to you guys, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you guys can get notifications as soon as I drop these videos. And you can go ahead and take these actionable and foundational techniques and, and, and apply to your business and grow from there, okay, guys? So, now, with today's topic, I want to go ahead and break down, give the definition, and you can kind of break down uh, and what is a uh, lease option, okay? So, a lease option, think of it like a car, right? You lease a car, and then it's kind of like you're renting it, right? Because at the end, like you lease a, you lease a car for like 12 months, and then at the end of that 12 month term, you turn the car in or whatever, or you know, you get into another one, or you can release it, right? So, but with with the real estate property, well, you know, with the property. Is that you have the option to purchase in full okay guys so with the option that's uh the option money kind of like when you buy a property like say you get uh say you get uh approved of a bank loan right and then you have a down payment so that's essentially what the option is the option is the down payment money okay guys and the person the investor the host the wholesaler that's helping to facilitate the deal they are the one they are the recipient of that option money okay that's how you get paid because that's your fee for facilitating and providing a service for everyone involved okay guys so instead of it being like you know when you wholesale a deal for cash and you get an assignment fee but with an op with the lease option you're getting an option fee okay guys and if it's a large amount then the homeowner may be like hey that's a lot of money so maybe you go ahead and you uh split you, you negotiate and split split the option money down the option fee you go ahead and you know split that and give you know split that split it up with the uh, homeowner okay guys so that's the typical breakdown of a lease option and so what you want to do what i do i like to always like you know try to get as many years as possible i'll start out with the three year so what you want to do it goes like this there's three uh three pay there's three paydays okay guys for the homeowner and to, and essentially you because you'll be uh, if you do a sandwich lease option then you'll be in the middle a sandwich meaning you you'll be in the middle and then so a, a sandwich lease option that is when uh, the homeowner then is you and then there's the um, the the, the, the the, the, the tenant slash buyer that's moving into the property okay guys so the sandwich you're in the middle okay the bread bread and then you in the middle sandwich lease option okay so uh so you have you have contract a with with the homeowner right contract a you have it locked down and so you have three years you have a three-year lease Three year lease, and then you have the monthly payments on the uh, the mortgage that's in place. Okay, guys. So the mortgage, say the mortgage is what, uh, twelve hundred dollars. So you you've agreed to go ahead and take over the monthly payments as well. You know you you assuming everything on it along with the interest rates whatever the terms is on there okay guys and then uh, let me put monthly right there and then the say that they they owe the property is worth a hundred thousand and they and the mortgage is for ninety thousand but you go ahead and you give them ninety five thousand just to go ahead and, and give it give them extra incentive to go ahead and want to go ahead and and move on the lease option so that's close to market value so it's okay because i'll break it down on the other side okay so then the purchase price is going to be ninety five thousand dollars purchase price now you're in the middle and then now on the other side you go ahead once you get the deal locked down with the homeowner you go ahead and you market the property and you're looking for tenants that you know uh you market it as a rent to own lease option you do lease option as well but the most popular term and phrase people can understand and grasp is the rent to own okay guys so what you want to do is find a buyer 
that has a, you know, they, they don't have A1 credit, they have a ding or two on their credit, right? So what you want to do then is go ahead and, and find a cash buyer that needs to go ahead and get their credit right. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll be able to get their credit right within those three years and get approved of a bank loan. And that bank loan will go ahead and wipe out that, that $95,000 purchase price, right? And so this is how you go ahead and do it. So with, with the tenant and buyer, they'll be willing to pay a little bit more than the market, than the, you know, pay a little bit more because that's the trade-off. Not being able, not, not having to worry about having your credit checked. You'll go ahead, you know, you have, you have these, these people, you do your screening and everything. These are great people. They just have to have a good job. They have a good rental history. They just need an opportunity because, you know, they, they just don't, you know, the credit is uh, not all the way A1 yet. But they're going to work on their credit when they move in and then they'll be able to pay it in full over within that three year period. Okay, guys? So you go ahead and contract B. Is uh, it's the same thing, right? It's, th it's a three year lease. That stays the exact same, and then this is when it goes. This is when it gets beneficial for you. Now, so because they have better credit, and they understand this. They're willing to pay a little bit extra, you know, above the term. So you just go ahead and you can charge, and then you go ahead and get the get get the monthly payments locked down with the tenant buyer for let's say fifteen hundred, okay. And then that's a monthly payment. And then so the uh, purchase price, like I say, because they have bad credit, you know, uh, that's one of the, you know, um, trade-offs and benefits, you know, for you to be able to uh, get a payment on the end as well. So you'll go ahead and you'll resell it. You, the purchase price you lock down with them is for 110,000. You can even do 115,000 if you want. But you know you don't want to go because that, that's only only ten thousand above market value. Because if the property's worth one hundred thousand and you do one hundred ten thousand, then you know you, they're only paying ten thousand above market value. So that's still a deal, you know. Okay. So when all things when when all is said and done, uh, whenever they go ahead, the tenant buyer go ahead and get approved of a mortgage, they get approved. this out and then they'll have their mortgage and then so you will have a monthly and that within that time frame you get you're, you're getting three hundred dollars um, passive income into your pocket from the you know uh, fifteen hundred minus the twelve hundred and then that no longer be the case once it's paid over and, and taken and wiped out but the difference from one hundred and ten thousand minus ninety five thousand it'll be fifteen thousand so it'd be fifteen thousand left over once the once they uh, close on the property, once the tenant buyer closes on the property with the bank loan, okay? And where that fifteen thousand dollars go to, it goes to you. So you have three paydays: the upfront, the upfront. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, and, and also uh, say that they go ahead and put down um, ten thousand dollars for the uh, option money, okay? Sorry about that, guys. So option money as well, okay? That's the option money. The option money that they put down is ten thousand. You can possibly, you know, uh, sometimes homeowners they'll come out and say, "I got twenty thousand dollars down." I'm like, "Okay, that's cool." <laughs> and then uh, if the homeowner be like, "That's a lot of money," go ahead and split it. You know, you can say, "All right, I do twelve five. I mean, I do twelve, and then you get seventy five hundred. You know, for my uh, expertise and knowledge, I, 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 I you know." entitled and deserve, you know, to be compensated for, you know, being able to uh, facilitate and help you guys out. you problem solver, and that's what you do. It's not taking advantage of nobody. It's just, you know, providing service and getting compensated. That's all it is, guys. So, option money down, you'll get 10, you'll get, you'll, um, yeah, and then you'll pay them $5,000 option money down as well. If you want to work it that way, where you pay money down to them, you, you actually don't even have to pay them option money down. You know, it's up to you on how you negotiate it. You can either pay them down, two thousand to five. It's, it's all up to you guys. It's all about how you negotiate. So you cannot have to. You not. You don't have to put any option money down at all and get the full ten thousand option money down. Okay. And that's how that works, guys. So hey, that's my tip for the day. 
Hope you guys like that. Hope you guys, I hope it all, you know, it's clear and makes sense. Go ahead and rewind it a few times and lock it in, okay? Have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them down below and I'll get to them, all right? Y'all have a good one.